actors, singers, comedians and princes. Prince Harry may have made some enemies in the time since he left the royal family, but he also has some of the most influential friends in the world supporting him. Although Prince Harry's relationship with most members of the royal family took a hit, his bond with cousin Princess Eugenie has remained strong. This may be because, like Harry, Eugenie is not a working member of the family. The cousins not only grew up together, but they've navigated difficult times in the public eye simultaneously. As Harry underwent his controversial exodus from royal life, Eugenie experienced some fallout related to her father, Prince Andrew. The two have remained in each other's lives no matter the stress or setbacks, and the Netflix Netflix docuseries Harry and Meghan even revealed that Eugenie has visited her cousin in California. Speaking to their dynamic, an insider close to the royal family called them best friends while speaking to People in August 2023. The source elaborated that both Harry and Eugenie seem to have become disillusioned by royal practices and have different interests and needs than much of the royal family. While they may have bonded over their shared difficulties, Harry and Eugenie clearly know how to have fun together too. In 2022, they were spotted attending the Super Bowl in Los Angeles. Of all the friends in Prince Harry's inner circle, polo star Nacho Figueres might be the closest pal the Duke of Sussex has. Their friendship dates back to 2007, when they met at a polo match for Harry's Centre Barley charity, which supports HIV-positive children and young adults. Figueres, who now works with Harry as a Centre Barley ambassador, waded further into the spotlight amid Harry and Meghan Markle's exodus from royal life. He not only defended them, but took part in telling the story of their early romance on the Harry and Meghan docuseries. You could tell right away that those were the eyes of someone that had fallen in love. Figueres has also publicly defended Harry, going as far as sharing a lengthy statement on Instagram, commending his friend's character and generosity when the Duke was slammed for travelling away from his family family for a polo match. Figueres assured readers that Harry is a reliable and caring person and wrote to his friend, I am honoured to be your friend and let's keep fighting because if we all fight together, love always wins. As of summer 2023, Figueres and Harry's friendship seems to still be going strong. That August, the pair could be found in Tokyo for the ISPS Sports Value Summit Special Edition. As Figueres shared on Instagram, the friends even took some time to do some shopping for each of their wives. To get into Prince Harry's friendship with Inner Circle member Charlie Van Strabenzi, we must first revisit Prince William and Princess Catherine's 2011 wedding. At the royal excursion, Harry stood beside his brother, presumably serving as his best man. However, Harry claimed in his book, Spare, that William really asked friends James Mead and Thomas Van Strabenzi to be his best men and simply had Harry stand with him for appearances. Similarly, at Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding in 2018, William stood beside Beside Harry, but was not actually his best man. Harry revealed in spare that he'd asked Charlie to be his best man and only had William stand beside him to please the public. Harry claimed that shortly before his wedding, William pulled out of plans to celebrate the upcoming nuptials. In response to this decision, Harry theorized that William may have cancelled out of anger from not being selected as best man. Whether or not Charlie was actually caught up in the politics playing out between the brothers, he remains a fixture in Harry's life nevertheless. Harry brought Meghan to Charlie's wedding the same year as their own, and the pair even reunited as recently as May 2022 to take a bike ride in Montecito, California. Of all the members of Prince Harry's inner circle, few have the gravity and influence of Prince Seisu of Lesotho. Having met when the Duke of Sussex first visited the country in 2004, the two men quickly bonded over the shared experience of losing their mothers. Harry first travelled to Lesotho during his gap year, finding a home among the African country's people. Harry and Seisu founded Centre Bali, but it's clear their relationship transcends their philanthropic work. Commenting on Harry's relationship with Meghan Markle before the royal wedding, Seisu said that he and Meghan would both be welcomed into the Lesotho community and commended the prince for his great appreciation of the African continent. Harry is one of us. Seisu and Harry have maintained their friendship throughout all of the drama in recent years, and Seisu even took part in the docuseries Harry and Meghan. Speaking about his relationship with Seisu, Harry shared in the series that he sees the Lesotho prince like a brother. 
funny man James Corden is firmly in Prince Harry's good graces. The former host of The Late Late Show attended Harry and Meghan's wedding back in 2018, and they apparently haven't lost touch in the years since. Corden told The Sun that he'd even been to the couple's home in Montecito, California, and he certainly didn't mince words when sharing how he felt about the royal couple, saying, I'm a huge fan of both of them. Obviously, I know Harry better than I know Meghan, but I think it's really hard to judge or be judgmental. I have a huge amount of respect and admiration for Harry, and anyone who has been around him and spent time with him would feel exactly the same way." Corden continued by sharing how he admires Harry's approach to marriage and parenting, and that he commends the many difficult decisions they've made in the process of leaving the royal family. It certainly seems that, whenever Harry needs a laugh, he'll be able to call on Corden. With such a notoriously strange relationship with his own father, it's not shocking that Harry sought father figures elsewhere. One such role model was Mark Dyer, who has been referenced as the prince's second dad over the years. Dyer originally worked as one of King Charles III's equerries, a royal assistant, and was there for Harry in the wake of his mother's death in 1997. According to royal biographer Penny Juna, as Harry entered his party prince phase, Dyer was one of the only people in his life who truly helped guide him out of that tumultuous time. Dyer and Harry have maintained their relationship over the years, even after Dyer left his post in the royal household. Dyer saw all of Harry's serious romances blossom, and he even reportedly allowed Harry and Meghan to sneak into his restaurants in London for secret dates early in their relationship. Harry is now the godfather of Dyer's son, Jasper, and Dyer is godfather to Harry son, Archie. The two also remain connected through Centre Barley, where Dyer serves as a trustee. Elton John's performance at Princess Diana's funeral back in 1997 provided a strong visual representation of the artist's connection to the royal family. Although his relationship with Diana was cut short due to her tragic death, he formed a close relationship with the princess's youngest son, Prince Harry. The two have remained a crucial part of each other's lives, both supporting each other through the good times and defending one another in the bad. During John's last show at Dodger Stadium in November 2022, a pre-recorded video tribute from Harry and Meghan played for the crowd. They congratulated the rock star on his long and prolific journey and thanked him for being such a big part of their lives and the lives of their family. Back in 2019, John put his standing with the press and public on the line for Harry, defending the prince after he was slammed for taking a private jet and staying at John's home in France. After expressing his frustration that people were upset by their private visit, he tweeted, Prince Harry's mother, Diana, Princess of Wales, was one of my dearest friends. I feel a profound sense of obligation to protect Harry and his family from the unnecessary press intrusion that contributed to Diana's untimely death. Singer James Blunt is a staple in British music, but it was his time in the British Army alongside Prince Harry's own service that bonded the two men. Continuing their friendship outside of their military service, Harry and Blunt have teamed up together for charity work. As recently as 2016, Blunt performed at the Invictus Games, Harry's charity that advocates for veterans at the Prince's invitation. Hi, I'm James Blunt, wishing all our serving and service community who are taking part in the September's Invictus Games good luck. Much like Elton John, Blunt has also openly defended the prince amid the intense scrutiny he and Meghan have faced. Appearing on Good Morning Britain in 2019, Blunt made his thoughts clear, saying that the press coverage Harry and Meghan were receiving was unnecessarily harsh, saying, What I think I can see is they seem to be on the cover of the newspapers a lot and it seems to me to be quite vitriolic quite a lot of the time. The singer once again spoke to the experiences Harry and Meghan had at the hands of the media telling Hello magazine that, while any public figure will inevitably be subject to media scrutiny, he's personally witnessed the hard work and dedication the former royals put into their personal and philanthropic pursuits. Actor Tom Hardy and Prince Harry are reportedly very close, arguably too close depending on who you ask. In an interview with Esquire, Hardy described his bond with the prince as deeply private. While he stayed mum on the details, Hardy did use some colourful language to describe his friend, saying, Harry is a f 
A legend. Like many of Harry's close friends, Hardy attended Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding in 2018. The actor went to extreme lengths to be there, flying from New Orleans, where he was working at the time, to get to London for the ceremony. Harry shared a deeper look into his friendship with the actor in his memoir, Spare, when he revealed a hilarious tidbit about the movie star. Harry apparently asked Hardy if he could borrow a costume for his and Meghan's Halloween bash before their relationship was made public. Harry explained that he asked to borrow Hardy Hardy's costume from Mad Max Fury Road, and the actor graciously obliged. Evidently, Harry pulled the costume off well because he got very few looks from partygoers dressed as the sci-fi protagonist. Perhaps Harry should spend more time in the Hollywood social scene if he ever wants a break from the public eye.